Margot J. Rathbun here. I'm certified as a nutritional therapy practitioner and I'm also the creator of the nutrition website AuthenticSelfWellness.com. So today I'm here on behalf of Stash Tea. I love Stash Tea because you guys know I'm a huge tea drinker. In fact, I am constantly talking about the health benefits of tea on my website and sharing with you guys some creative ways to incorporate tea into our diets. Well today I'm going to talk about how to make your own iced tea. You can see I've got a very beautiful strong brew of actually pu'er tea here and I'm going to show you guys how to make your own iced tea at home and then also talk about these awesome new tea powders that Stash just came out with that you can take with you on the go whether you're in the car, if you're at the gym, or if you're at work. It's an all natural way to get iced tea on the go. Okay, so it's really easy to make your own stash iced tea right from the comforts of your own kitchen. Now there's two ways to go ahead and make your iced tea. The first is the cold brew way, and that's where you actually make your iced tea the night before and you put it in your fridge for 24 hours. And how you do that is you need this handy little pitcher. You can actually get this on the Stash Teas website, which is stashtea.com. And you fill up the, the basket here with your favorite type of tea. You can use eight to 10 of your favorite stash tea tea bags like these right here. I love the green tea. Or you can use about eight tablespoons of your favorite loose leaf tea. And you can really uh, play with that too, depending on how strong or how light you want your tea to be. So then once you go ahead and you fill up your tea basket, you put uh, cold water, you don't have to use hot kettle water for this uh, method. And then you just put the lid on, you give it a nice little uh, spin there and keep it in your fridge overnight and you have iced tea to enjoy all the next day. So I'm going to show you the second way to make iced tea from the comforts of your own kitchen and that is using hot water. So I have gone ahead and I have boiled some hot filtered water on the stove and you just go ahead and you fill it up. I love this pitcher, you guys. Seriously, this is the most candy thing that you can ever invest in. And it's not even that much. So you fill it up there. I'm going to add a little bit more in just a second. And I am going to make an iced pu'er tea. I love pu'er. It's actually a uh, got a lightly earthy flavor. Um, so you might want to sweeten it up with some honey. It's definitely an acquired taste. But it's uh, got a beautiful red kind of brown color to it. I'm going to eyeball it here. Like I said, eight tablespoons, or if you're using uh, a tea bag, one of the stashed tea bags, you can use eight to ten. Again, that depends on how strong you want your tea. Use a little bit more here. I like my tea strong. That's just how I am. That's my personal preference. And I'm going to sweeten this up with some uh, fun little ingredients, which we're going to talk about here. So I've got my tea basket filled. All you have to do is just Spin it back in, get it all tight in there in the lid. Dump the lid in. You can add some more water if you'd like. I, again, like my tea strong, so I'm gonna leave it as is. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and let this steep for about five minutes on your kitchen counter with the lid on. And then once uh, you'll see that the tea is starting to seep into the water, it's gonna get a darker color. You actually wanna take the lid off and let it sit on your counter for about an hour just to kind of cool uh, itself down. That way you can add ice cubes to it later. So while it's steeping, let's talk about some fun ways to really rev up your iced tea. So I've got stashed mangosteen uh, green tea here. It's delicious. And then um, I have raspberry or pomegranate raspberry green tea from Stash. Two delicious flavors that make awesome iced teas. Now what you can do is add lemon or lime to your iced tea. Now doing this not only really zests up the flavor, but it gives your tea a great source of vitamin C. Vitamin C is very important for boosting the immune system, and it's also important for healthy skin, hair, and nails. So you just give that a little squeeze into your tea as much or as little as you like, and you give it a stir and you're good to go. Some people love the taste of peppermint. I love peppermint. This is right from my garden. And all you have to do is kind of crush it up a little bit to get those oils released and then just stick it in your tea, and then you can just drink it with the actual sprig of mint in your tea. It's gonna be great for helping with digestion, it's gonna be great for helping with headaches, it's delicious. Honey is a very popular sweetener, uh, very natural, it's got antibacterial uh, properties, antimicrobial, and it's gonna help with sore throats, it's a natural energy booster, a great alternative to a lot of the sweeteners out there. And a very creative, fun way, kids love this, to really uh, rev up your iced teas, is to make ice cubes from juice, like pomegranate juice for antioxidants, which is what I did here. You just drop them in your tea. It's got that beautiful red color. 
and then it releases the juice and the antioxidants into your iced tea. So do you love the concept of drinking iced tea during the day and you love the way it tastes, you love the health benefits, but you just don't have time to brew it at home on your own? Well, fortunately, Stash Tea has you covered because they've got a line of powdered teas, nothing but pure teas, no added chemicals or anything like that, and it's very easy for you to make iced tea with you on the go. So let's talk a little bit about the teas that they have. First of all, they've got a lightly sweetened green tea powder, uh, again, great way to get some antioxidants. We've talked a lot about the health benefits of green tea. I'm sure you guys have heard about them. Uh, green tea powder, this one is not sweetened, so you could actually add uh, some lemon juice, maybe some fun ice cubes, or even a little bit of honey to sweeten it up. And I've got a blueberry green tea here. It's a great, kind of a desserty tasting uh, iced tea. And then lemon ginger green tea, so if you like that zest, you like kind of a little spicy zing to your tea, that's gonna be your best bet. And then we've just got classic lemon ice. So if you don't have a lemon with you, but you like to have a lemon iced tea, this is gonna be your best bet. So all you have to do is take your little tumbler here. Uh, this is a, a BPA free tea uh, tumbler that you can take with you on the go. And you just take your tea bag here. This is a iced pomegranate raspberry iced tea from Stash, of course. And you can see it's just a powder. You just pour it in. And if you have a water bottle, you just put the lid on and you give it a good shake. That's going to be the easiest way to mix it up. So I know a lot of you guys carry water bottles. And all you do is give it a nice stir. And you can see it's just mixing in almost instantly. It's getting that beautiful green color. I can smell it. Oh, it smells so good. You guys are going to love this. And then you literally, once it's all mixed in, just put the lid on and you are good to go. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video all about iced tea and that you're inspired to start making some in the comforts of your own home. So to purchase all the teas that I talked about today, to purchase the glasses and that fabulous pitcher that makes iced tea, be sure to visit Stash Tea's website at stashtea.com and also check out their great line of teas. They have everything from green teas to Wyusa teas to Pu'er and definitely you want to try their powder iced tea because it's perfect to take with you on the go. So as always, thank you for watching.